you talked about how we've done nothing but lower expectations uh, in this generation. Tell us about that and where your mind immediately went when you saw Juwan Howard slap the assistant coach for Wisconsin. Well, uh, I saw that and I was almost, I almost couldn't believe it. And listen, you know, gentlemen, you guys are you know my age, maybe even a little older, or younger. We're around the same age, and so I remember watching some of those classic Big East bat- battles when I was really young, and people are intense. They're going back and forth, but you know the, uh, that era has kind of changed a little bit. And you know, for John Howard to reach over top and then claim self defense, he had two or three coaches in front of him tries to slap you know a coach, and it, it, frankly, it, it was kind of embarrassing because it wasn't even a good punch. It was it was your classic basketball punch, kind of an open hand grab. You know, I mean, the one thing I will say, you know, if you sit there and look at you know Stephen Jackson, you know his uh, his punch when you know in the mouse in the palace. I mean, that thing is a right cross, and he puts it right across his face. I mean, it was it was a nice shot. So at least he had that going for him. But all of a sudden, then we talk about well, you know, sportsmanship and the, the post game handshake that's antiquated. Like, we, why are we still even doing this? And you know, there's people you know across the sports landscape that have kind of thrown that out there. And I'm thinking, okay. This is what we've done now. Like everybody's getting a trophy because we couldn't have any losers anymore. And, you know, well, the, these criteria are too high for people. So we'll lower those down. And now it's literally the point where you have a 50 year old man who is a multi millionaire, incredibly successful, coaching his alma mater. And because he couldn't, he couldn't keep his composure until he got to the locker room. Now all of a sudden we're going to do away with the handshake line. Like that's the problem. I mean, we've raised a generation of feckless human beings who can't handle any type of criticism because anytime they fail at something, we're like, you know what? It's too hard. This wasn't your fault. This was the problem with how we were supposed to handle ourselves or the test or the game or the rule or whatever it might have been. I sit here and it was unbelievable to watch this and people that were kind of supporting it. And like, we're asking people to compete and go shake hands. You ever watch? like a UFC fight or wrestling meet guys who go at each other in an incredibly intense way, you know, a physical contact, hammer on each other, some of the most violent things you'll see. And then at the end, they shake hands. They can at least respect. You may not like the person, but you can at least respect what you're doing enough to support the activity and respect the person you're going against. Even if you don't care for them, you shake hands and it's all well and good. And like, we're trying to just say now, well, that's, that's too hard. We can't shake hands anymore, guys, because you know that, that's requiring people to act like adults, to take accountability for their actions, and to sit there after a hard-fought contest and not be able to decouple that from real life. Like that, that is where we've gone as a society now, and we're only handicapping the next generation to be able to deal with like real problems as opposed to controlling yourself for two minutes after a game.